following show is a general audience program. ESPN welcomes you to the following presentation of the National Football League. London, England, the site of an NFL showdown between the Atlanta Falcons and the Jacksonville Jaguars. A game that will also be played in the Toy Story world of Andy's room. ESPN Plus brings you the first Toy Story Fun Day football as we are calling the game live inside the Toy Story universe. Thanks to Andy's imagination, the Falcons and Jaguars have been animated as toys and they'll play the game live at the same time it's happening in real life. Tries to bounce it outside. He's got a little bit of room. Touchdown! Every run, pass, and catch you'll see live just as it happens in London. He made the first guy miss. He'll score. Holy smokes! When the Falcons and Jaguars score a touchdown there, they score it here. Touchdown! How good is that? Welcome to Toy Story Fun Day Football. You got and welcome to Andy's room. We cannot wait. The first ever game to happen here pits the Atlanta Falcons against the Jacksonville Jaguars. Hello, everybody. Thanks for hanging out with us today. Alongside Booger McFarland, I'm Drew Carter. Today, you've got a friend in us. And Booger, this is a little bit different, right? We're cartoons. We cannot wait. This should be a lot of fun. It's going to be a ton of fun. The game of football has been played in a lot of different elements. This is the first time inside, on carpet, with toys everywhere. It's going to be a fun game to watch. Yeah, we're going to see some stuff we've never seen before. And if it's your first time watching the NFL, welcome. We're, we're happy to have you. And speaking of some stuff you've never seen before, let's say hello now to our sideline reporter Pepper Persley who's got more on what we can expect today. Hi Pepper. Thanks guys. Yeah, I'm super excited to be here in Andy's room and there are a couple of aspects that I think are worth sharing. First off, the claw will be spotting the ball the entire game. I have faith in the claw. Hopefully he does his job. And then we also have Slinky Dog as the down marker and I know he's a loyal dog. I know he'll always try his best. So we'll see how that goes. Back to you Jim. All right, Pepper, if Woody trusts Slinky, certainly we will trust Slinky. And the claw, of course, for the aliens is the master. It decides who goes and who stays. It also decides where the ball is going to be today. No doubt. Those are just a lot of the fun little elements they're going to see in this game today as we bring the Toy Story world to life. That's right. Let's see what else we're going to see today. And, folks, do not go anywhere at halftime because maybe the thing some people are most excited about is the Duke Kaboom Daredevil yeah. Spectacular. He's Canada's greatest daredevil. He's going to try the unthinkable at halftime. Also, at halftime, maybe some pizza coming for us, Boog? Yeah, Boog gets hungry during the game. Hopefully, they got a lot of it. Hopefully, they got some meat lovers for us as well. That's at halftime also. Emperor Zerg, the arch enemy of the Galactic Alliance. We're hearing reports that he's here today, and maybe that's going to affect the game. You know, certainly will affect the game is Bijan Robinson, one of the most electric young players in the NFL. We're going to hear his football story growing up. And this is just amazing, Boog. Some of the camera angles we'll see. Yeah, it's a unique view inside of what the players see as they're on the field. Very, very good access. First game ever in Andy's room. We can't wait, and the players are excited, too. I think playing in Andy's room was going to be awesome fun and uh, hope to be able to put on a show for all the other toys. To be a Toy Story character is, is unbelievable. I can't wait. I'm really excited. I think I'm going to be pretty nervous playing in front of, you know, some of my favorite characters, Woody, Rex, Buzz. Got to put on a show for them. I'm really excited to get out there on the field today. Um, you know, it's fun to play on a football field, but to play in Andy's room, uh, it's kind of different. I'm very excited about it. I think it's going to be awesome to play in Andy's room, you know, for all of us. It's just going to be, you know, like a, a dream come true. True. I think playing a game in Andy's room, uh, to my to my mind, bring, brings a lot of fun and excitement, a little uh, enthusiasm, some juice. I think it's going to be incredible. What a unique opportunity to, to be right there and play this game in Andy's room. This is just a really exciting opportunity to be a part of, I think, just to get more and more kids involved in this great game um, and make it more entertaining for them. And, of course, Desmond Ritter and the Atlanta Falcons ready to play the first ever NFL game in Andy's room. Andy has imagined this happen, happening simultaneously with the game at Wembley Stadium in London. 
Booger, look at the spectators here in Andy's room. We've got some of our favorite Toy Story characters. I see some of the toy soldiers there, and they decorated in honor of London. Bo Peep is here. Buzz Lightyear is here. And here comes Woody on the sidelines, all of our favorites. Yeah, you know Woody had to make an appearance. And it's, it's good to see everybody here for this special event. Would not miss this for the world. You can just feel the anticipation right before kickoff. Everybody's excited. Get your popcorn ready. Or maybe your pizza ready, too. And a drink, too. I don't want to be too thirsty. <laughs> pizza Planet will make an appearance at halftime. But for now, we're ready to get this underway. Toy Story Fun Day Football. And we are off in Andy's room. Bradley Pinion kicks it away for the Falcons. It bounces through the end zone, which means it's a touchback, and the Jaguars start at the 25-yard line. As we introduce you to Trevor Lawrence, one of the bright young stars in the National Football League, his favorite NFL player growing up was Peyton Manning, and he was drafted first overall, just like the Sheriff was back in the day. And he likes Slinky Dog, which is a bit of an under-the-radar choice for favorite character. Yeah, and if you look at the quarterback, he's their version of Woody. He's the guy who's the leader. He's going to make everything go. He has all the important decision. He is the guy for every team. The aliens excited to watch Trevor Lawrence play a different kind of football as they practice the European sort of football over there. Later in the quarter, I feel like we've seen Slinky Dog in the past stretch up to 100 yards. I mean, he could go the entire sideline. Yeah, that won't be good today. <laughs> Unless there are a lot of penalties. It's second down and 12 for the Jags. Trevor Lawrence evades the rush. You see the athleticism. He throws off his right foot. Touchdown, oh! Jags! Calvin Ridley says, Trevor Lawrence, you're my favorite deputy. He's got a 30-yard touchdown against his former team. And we've been waiting. When is he going to throw it to Calvin Ridley? He evades the rush, throws it up. Watch Calvin Ridley look the ball in with his hands, and therefore, he can't drop the ball. Great catch, Calvin Ridley. And now let's see how the carpet works as a kicking service as Brandon McManus knocks the extra point right through the goal blocks. And it's 7-0 Jaguars. What a play by Trevor Lawrence. Ham wants to see it again. Let's go, Ham. Trevor Lawrence evading the rush, dropping back, throwing the touchdown. And Calvin Ridley, touchdown Jaguars. Later in the quarter, the running back B. John Robinson goes in motion for the Falcons. Ritter takes the snap and looks to throw. They only need one yard. They are not going to get it. Ritter sacks. A loss of eight. It's Josh Allen with his fourth sack of the season. We talked about Josh Allen in the open. They've been waiting on this young man to continue his ascent at the defensive end position. I just love the way he pushes the offensive tackle back and gets the sack of the quarterback. Where's your sack dance at, young man? <laughs> Is it a wiggle? Is it a shake? Let's dance for the kids today. <laughs> there we go. Just a little wiggle. Make sure you practice that at home. Ah! Oh, great kid. <laughs> Karate kid style. Yeah. <laughs> Bradley Pinion punts it away for the Falcons. And it lands out of bounds as they flip the field. Now, let's tell you what a punt is. Why would a team give the football away on purpose? Well, it's for field position purposes. Hang time is what you call it for how long the ball stays in the air. The longer it's in the air, the tougher it's going to be on that punt returner because it gives the punt coverage team more time to run down the field. And the most recent full season average for a length of a punt, 46.7 yards from the line of scrimmage where the play began. That length, almost halfway as tall as Big Ben in London. These guys can really boot the football. Yeah, that's going to be affected today by whether or not the window is up, is the window down. What's the weather outside of Andy's room? Do we know that yet? That will affect the condition, the kicking conditions. What's the weather like in the Tri-City area? Uh, Bo Peep still looking on intently. Pulling the string of Woody. Didn't know that was allowed. We saw those two together at the carnival. Last time in Toy Story. And 
clearly still getting along well as Travis Etienne makes the play. Great camera angle from right behind the running back as he gains eight yards. He was chopped down by D. Alford, the Falcons defensive back. Yeah, that's a screen play. That's when the offensive lineman allowed the defensive lineman to come through so they can go downfield. They throw it to the running back, Tra Travis Etienne. He gets behind him and tries to make some yards. When's the best time to run a screen play? When the pass rush up front is beating your offensive line, then you want to let them feel like they've won and throw the ball right behind them. Mr. Spell seems to be cheering on the Falcons here in this first quarter. Maybe just wants a close game as the Jags lead by a touchdown. And they have been moving the ball effectively. It's second down and two. This time they run it with Etienne, and he's got the first down. A gain of seven for Travis Etienne. Richie Grant comes down to make another tackle for Atlanta, but Jacksonville moving the football effectively as the Toy Soldiers bring the first down sign out. Later in the Jaguars' drive, this time they fake the handoff. It's play action. Trevor Lawrence throws another completion. It's Christian Kirk who takes it into Atlanta territory for a big gain of 30 yards. And now Mr. Spell seems to like the Jags. Hashtag Duval is their rallying cry. Notice he caught the football. He was on the ground. But because in professional football you have to be touched, he was able to get up and continue running. Really nice job there by Christian Kirk. He was not down by contact, so he could pick up some extra yards. Ends up with a gain of 30 on the play, and the Jaguars are picking apart this Atlanta defense. By the way, Duval County is where Jacksonville is located in Florida, so that's why they yell out Duval. They give it to the rookie Tank Bigsby here. First-year player out of Auburn. A gain of six. Good, tough running as Nate Landman makes the tackle for Atlanta. He's filling in for the injured Troy Anderson today. And the Jaguars will still have it when we start the second. Buzz Lightyear soaring, and so are the Jacksonville Jaguars. Only touchdown today is Trevor Lawrence to Calvin Ridley. Jacksonville by seven after 15 minutes. We'll be right back to the show on Disney Channel. They planted. It was the cityest of times. It was the countryest of times. They grew. Life has never been better for the Green family. And now... We're having adventures all over the place. It's time to harvest. Who's ready to buy some corn? <laughs> corn! Fresh new Big City Greens are here. That's how good it is. Feast your eyes and ears. I like cabbage. Cow <gasps> attacking. On a healthy batch of greens. Another one. Fun. Everyone's waiting to see what we do next. Hey, yo. That's a lot of pressure. New farm to city shenanigans. Dang, look at all the options. Slice the adventures, slice the amount of food. Jackpot! <laughs> Look, we've been on a lot of adventures. I can't keep them all straight. Big City Greens. New episodes Saturday at 8 on Disney Channel. Fat beats! I've been pulled through time. It's freaking me out. I thought you said it didn't look that bad. I was lying. It, it's terrible. On October 5th. You've got about an hour. You've got about five minutes. Loki returns. What's the plan? Don't overthink it. In an all-new season. Fine. Loki Season 2. New episodes available October 5th. Every day is a party when you've got good friends around. Go ahead, make a splash, and enjoy the new adventures you can have together. Barbie Dreamhouse is a proud sponsor of Disney Channel. Dolls, vehicle, and play sets sold separately. Adults assemble. Batteries not included. Hey, Miko, let's play. When you use your imagination, learning new things can open up a world of fun. What's your favorite animal? There's so much to discover. Miko is a proud sponsor of Disney Channel. Miko Chess and Miko Robots sold separately. Explore the great outdoors with s'mores and sing-alongs. Camping adventures are always more fun with friends along for the ride. Barbie Dream Camper is a proud sponsor of Disney Channel. Camper and doll sold separately. Adults assemble. What are we going to watch? Saturday nights in October. We could get into the spooky spirit. Time to go to work. Disney Channel is calling all the monsters. <gasps> Uh-oh. Anyway, let's see what we got. I'm not scared of anything. So come to our house. Yay! Company! 
fun-sized frights. We can enjoy this magical holiday together. Mini-sized shorts. Ah, don't freak out. I'm just the perfect clone of you. And full-size movie treats. <laughs> this is going to be so much fun. Calling all the monsters. Starts Saturday at 6 on Disney Channel. This includes general audience content. This is a general audience program. Gather around, campers. Hold on to your butts! <laughs> For tales of Dusty Tush. I'm back, baby! With stories yet untold. God, Jake in the house. And the curse of gold. The curse is real! Campers are in shock. <gasps> by animals that talk. Really? Competitions that rock. Go! And even a couple oh. of cowboy socks. What? Mosey on over to the camp that gives you more. <laughs> Watch Bunked. On Disney Channel! Duke Kaboom! Getting ready to go at halftime. His Daredevil Spectacular will highlight the festivities here in Andy's room. One quarter down, 7 nothing Jags. Pepper personally checked in with one of the top fans today, Mr. Spell. Thanks, Drew. Yeah, I'm super excited to be here with Mr. Spell. How's it going? I'm curious, what are you enjoying about this game so far, Mr. Spell? Well, thank you so much for your time. Mr. Spell and the nesting eggs taking in Toy Story Fun Day Football. The Falcons and Jaguars are playing at Wembley Stadium in London. And Andy has imagined this game happening with toys in his room. That's how we see this happening live. Everything that happens at Wembley Stadium, you're going to see it here. It's third down and nine. Trevor Lawrence and the Jaguars need a big play. He throws before the pressure comes, and it's incomplete. He was trying to find Christian Kirk. Jesse Bates applied the pressure, the safety who's been awesome for Atlanta in his first year with the Falcons. A long kick is on the way for the Jacksonville Jaguars. Brandon McManus boots it right through. Good from 56. So good, he knocked the blocks over. Somebody must have turned the AC on. <laughs> that ball looked like, it, looked like it had a little bit of help there, Drew. Boom. Kaboom. <laughs> Later in the quarter... There goes Bullseye again. I'm telling you, man, if you could suit up Bullseye and hand him the football, that would be dangerous. Bullseye's putting on a show on the sideline. You would think he would grab a seat and watch the game. Yeah. I don't know if Bullseye grabs a seat ever. Might not be what he does. That's a great point by you, Drew. He rides like the wind. Where's that play action Booger's looking for? Robinson in motion. Ritter throws, intercepted. Darius Williams has it for the Jags, and he might be gone. Flames coming out of his cleats. A 61-yard pick six for the Jags. Darius Williams has his first interception of the season, and it comes in Andy's room. Just a really good job by Williams of anticipating the throw. Man-to-man -man coverage. He stepped right in front of the receiver, and then he turned the speed on. Look at the fire coming off the carpet. Just an outstanding play there by Williams. Burning up the threads on his way to the end zone. <laughs> McManus with the extra point. Through the blocks. And again, they'll have to set those up again as the kick is so good. It knocks over the goalpost. Darius Williams with a 61-yard interception return for a touchdown. I love how Williams stepped in front. Then the high step. Take it to the end zone. Jaguars, 17. Falcons, nothing. Hey, kids, did you hear? Duke Kaboom is performing at halftime. I think he's going to make the jump. What about you? I'm super excited for Duke Boone's halftime performance. Hopefully, I'll get to kind of sneak out onto the field and watch it. There's no doubt in my mind that he's going to make it. I mean, it's Duke Boone. Come on. I want to see this one in, in, in person. So I, I'm going to actually probably...
turn the team over to somebody else and, and come out of the uh, locker room at halftime to actually watch this performance. I think he's going to make it, and I'll be cheering for him hard. Duke Kaboom at halftime is must-see TV. Man, this is, I'm, I don't know, I might have to ask Coach if I could sneak out to see him better than Rihanna, I think. Man, Josh Allen is hilarious. He's also playing an incredible game with two sacks early for the Jaguars, who are all over the Falcons, 17 to nothing as Atlanta gets the ball back. And let's check in with Pepper. Hey, Pepper, how excited is everyone for this Duke Kaboom halftime show? Oh, everybody is incredibly excited, Drew. Um, I think everybody on the sidelines is looking forward to it. And I just heard from Buzz that he has so much confidence um, that Duke Kaboom will make it, that he would like fly into space and come back and be totally fine. He has, he has so much faith in Duke Kaboom. So everybody else is really looking forward to it too. All right, great stuff, Pepper. We cannot wait. We're just four and a half minutes away from Duke Kaboom's halftime daredevil spectacular. Desmond Ritter on first down, fires, it's picked off again! Andre sisco has got it for the Jags. He fumbles the football, but it's recovered by his teammate, Foye Aluakin. That's back-to-back -back passes from Desmond Ritter, intercepted, and a 25-yard return has the Jags in the red zone. Yeah, that's something you don't see often, back-to-back -back interceptions. And we're also seeing why the Falcons are a running football team. Their young quarterback, Desmond Ritter, fakes it to the right, drops back, I don't know if he sees Cisco, a great break on the ball by Cisco, Number and he's trying to take it to the house. Got to remember to keep the football in your hands, man. Don't drop it. But back-to-back -back picks by the Jaguars. Just a good, just a good idea of Cisco understanding where the ball was going to go. Good eyes, vision on the ball, and making the interception. And it's all Jacksonville. At the end of the first half, the Jaguars lead the Falcons 17 nothing. Right back to the show on Disney Channel. Action. Come on down to Table Town, where Kiff and Barry... Are we doing it right now? ...get up to all kinds of... Things. Kiff's nuttier than ever. I've just got some things to do. Really? And Barry? Where's Barry? Well, he's still Barry. I'm an ambassador. When these two are involved... Are you thinking what I'm thinking? I think I am. What could go wrong? Kiff, new Saturday at 9 on Disney Channel. You ready to have your mind blown? On October 4th. This feels like something special. The heart comes home to Disney+. Plus. Well, it's about time. Get into the Halloween spirit. <laughs> oh, you're going to scare us? No, we're going to scare you. Yeah. And relive the thrills again and again. I've done it a thousand times. Count me in. <laughs> Haunted Mansion, ready PG-13, available October 4th on Disney+. Plus. You have the power to make magic happen right at your fingertips. Just get creative and add a bit of imagination to see what enchanting adventures you can experience. Magic Mixies Pixlings is a proud sponsor of Disney Channel, each sold separately. Fridays, party, yes, sin parar. It's a big party in a non-stop special way. Come on up. With Coco. Haley's on it. I'm doing it. Cancer and Gretel. All right, that's enough. Joe kidding. The Proud Family, louder and prouder. Phenomenal. The Emperor's new groove. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. Marvel's Moon Girl and Devil Dinosaur. In the house. Unas Noches Magicas. Wow, that sounds majestic. It's all coming together. Que padre. This is going to be epic. Party Sin Parar continues Friday at 8 on Disney Channel. Party Sin Parar includes general audience programming. New adventures can be as big as your imagination. The doctor's here. Beep, beep. Whatever you can dream, you can make happen. Let's go outside. Barbie is a proud sponsor of Disney Channel. Play sets and dolls, each sold separately. <laughs> the best friendships are one in a million. Show your friends why they're possum. Doggy is a proud sponsor of Disney Channel. Smart device not included. Once in a while, a hero comes along. Someone so smart. Yes! 
I made it! So determined. First place, suckers! So awkward? Scale of one to ten, how cool is this party, people? Cringe. Ouch. Who is she? Haley. 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 I'm Haley Bex. Saving the world one list item at a time. Oh, I got a list, too. A list of complaints. Gather round, campers. Hold on to your butts! <laughs> For tales of Dusty Tush. I'm back, baby! With stories yet untold. Got Jake in the house. And the curse of gold. The curse is real! Campers are in shock. <gasps> by animals that talk. Really? Competitions that rock. Go! And even a couple of cowboy socks. What? Mosey on over to the camp that gives you more. <laughs> Watch Bunked on Disney Channel! This is a general audience program. Welcome to the halftime show for Toy Story Fun Day Football. Your friends Booger and Drew back with you here in Andy's room. One of the most exciting players, not just in this game today, Boog, but in the entire NFL, is Falcons rookie running back B. John Robinson. Let's get to know the young man out of Texas. When I was a kid, I would always just play football. I would introduce myself to everybody. Like, I'm Bijan, I'm Bijan, I'm going to the NFL. And now looking back at it, I mean, yeah, it was probably like, yeah, this kid was a little different. He had every football that you could imagine, and you never saw him without a football. That was his security blanket. Bijan just had such a passion for the sport. Six o'clock in the morning, he would have the TV on, and I would hear, na 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 as a kid, I've always had other things that I like than just football. Pixar is my thing. Woody's my favorite. He's just like the most positive character. You know, there's a lot of a lot of fast characters in Pixar. I mean, you got Lightning McQueen, you got Dash. So I think that they'll find a way to put me in a in a, in a good look. I think I'll be a pretty cool cartoon character, honestly. And even in like a Pixar animated form, like I think I look pretty sick. So I'm excited to see it. Well, Bijan Robinson certainly looks cool as a toy. He also is fun to watch in real life. No doubt. And like most kids, he got excited about football at a very young age. And we're excited right now about the pizza delivery yes. we have coming for halftime. We're going to settle in, hunker down for Duke Kaboom's halftime spectacular. We got a chance to ask some of the players in this game about their favorite pizza from Pizza Planet. Oh, when, when I'm ordering Pizza Planet, I love to have barbecue chicken on my pizza. Daddy wants some mushrooms, but nobody else likes mushrooms. So we got to go half mushrooms, half pepperoni and Italian sausage, some extra cheese. Mmm, yeah, good. We get a pizza for Pizza Planet, you know, it's going to be cheese and pepperoni. It's not a very adventurous group right here. I'm going to do, sorry, ham, but I'm going to do pineapple, ham, and jalapenos. Nothing against ham, but ham just goes good on a pizza. My favorite pizza that I'd order from Pizza Planet, sorry, ham, would be ham and cheese. I'd add a little crushed red pepper for some spice. Sorry, pal. What's up with the special teamers putting ham on their pizza? We're starving now after seeing that. And Boog, it looks like our delivery's almost here. Yeah, I can't wait till this delivery comes. Boog is starving. Who knew you could get so hungry calling the game? It is hard work here in Andy's room, and it looks like our pizza delivery has finally arrived. We've got our halftime food. There it is, Boog. Nice grab. Yeah, good hands by a big defensive tackle, and it smells so good. Oh, the defensive guys can catch as well. We've got our pizza ready. We're going to get our popcorn ready as well because we've got something incredible, spectacular even, coming up here at halftime. It is Duke Kaboom, the greatest of the great white north, the Canuck with all the love. Let's go. Duke spectacular is next. All right, folks, here we go. It's time for Duke Kaboom's Daredevil Spectacular. Booger and Drew back with you. We've eaten our pizza and bug. Man, people are excited about this. And I'm one of those people. Can't wait to see him execute this fearless jump. It's the Canuck with all the luck. Duke Kaboom, Canada's greatest stuntman. Let's check out what he's up against today. This is no joke, folks. He's going to go up on top of that very tall tower, build up speed to go through the scary loop as the aliens look on. Jump over five double-decker buses, and hopefully at the end of this, 
he'll be celebrating. He's a guy who's been known at different times for his crash landing. He's trying to get this one nice and clean. And of course, the double decker buses inspired by the game being played at Wembley Stadium in London. Imagine here in Andy's room. Booger, I mean, I'd be terrified to go up there. Yeah, Boog don't do heights. And so for him to get that high and that much speed coming down and then to execute it, I'd be scared just thinking about this. And here he comes. Uh-oh. Look who's looking up. It's Emperor Zerg. Wow. And he has his sights set on Duke Kaboom. So as if this weren't scary and risky enough already, Emperor Zerg is looking up. Duke Kaboom getting some encouragement from the spectators here in Andy's room. How high is he going to go, Drew? Oh. Feels like he's never going to stop. So many fans in attendance fired up to see the Daredevil Spectacular from the greatest of the Great White North. amazing absolutely amazing the speed the execution of focus let's hope these teams in the second half can execute their game plan the way Duke Kaboom did that jump maybe an inspirational halftime show for both these teams let's take another look because we have to first the speed to get through this scary loop this is something he can do in his sleep and then as he goes over the five double-decker buses look at the poses he pulls off yeah look at the height and then the style points. Way to show off, Duke Kaboom. Just show off. And the sky cam follows him through. Man by an alien held up by the claw. What a look. The Canadian flag waving. Duke Kaboom might be a big CFL fan. He loves the great cup. <laughs> Here at halftime of an NFL game in Andy's room, he just pulled off the spectacular and hopefully that sets us up for an exciting second half should be an unbelievable second half followed by an unbelievable jump by Duke Kaboom congratulations to Duke Kaboom we're going to break down the track and we'll get those double decker buses out of the way because we've got a second half to play but Duke Kaboom has done it the spectacular has been achieved here in Andy's room we'll be right back to the show on Disney Channel Fresh new Big City Greens are here. That's how good it is. Feast your eyes and ears. I like cabbage. Now we're talking. On a healthy batch of greens. Another one. Fun. Everyone's waiting to see what we do next. Hey, yo. That's a lot of pressure. New farm to city shenanigans. Jackpot. Big City Greens. New episodes Saturday at 8 on Disney Channel. The Little Mermaid is now available on Disney+. Plus. I would love to see that. Ariel, wait for me! All the wonder. Look at this. Let's go, let's go, let's go! The magic. <laughs> and the fun. Are you listening to me? Yes. Uh, sorry, what'd you say again? Somebody got to nail that girl's fins to the floor. On Disney+. Plus. Disney's The Little Mermaid, ready PG. Now available on Disney+. Plus. Explore the great outdoors. With s'mores and sing-alongs, camping adventures are always more fun with friends along for the ride. Barbie Dream Camper is a proud sponsor of Disney Channel. Camper and doll sold separately, adults assemble. What are we going to watch? Saturday nights in October. We could get into the spooky spirit. Time to go to work. Disney Channel is calling all the monsters. <gasps> Uh-oh. Anyway, let's see what we got. I'm not scared of anything. So come to our house. Yay! Company! For fun 
fun-sized frights. We can enjoy this magical holiday together. Mini-sized shorts. <laughs> Don't freak out. I'm just the perfect clone of you. And full-size movie treats. <laughs> <laughs> this is going to be so much fun. Calling all the monsters. Starts Saturday at 6 on Disney Channel. This includes general audience content. Hey, Miko, let's play. When you use your imagination, learning new things can open up a world of fun. What's your favorite animal? There's so much to discover. Miko is a proud sponsor of Disney Channel. Miko Chess and Miko Robots sold separately. Monster High! Monster High! Monster High! It's always fantastic to be yourself. Be unique. Be a monster. Monster High Dolls is a proud sponsor of Disney Channel. Each sold separately. Get ready. This is gonna be good. It's villain time! Jake is turning uh, hero! Valley View's secret hero. Partly with the power! Get this girl a cake! I think I'm seeing double! Okay! The Maddens <laughs> could be in trouble! Alex? These villains never miss! Why is there a crying dog in our lair? But it all comes down to this! <gasps> and just like that? The bar has been raised. New Villains of Valley View, Sunday at 8 on Disney Channel. Gather round, campers. Hold on to your butts! <laughs> For tales of Dusty Tush. I'm back, baby! With stories yet untold. Got Jake in the house. And the curse of gold. The curse is real! Campers are in shock. <gasps> by animals that talk. Really? Competitions that rock. Go! And even a couple of cowboy socks. What? Mosey on over to the camp that gives you sport. <laughs> Watch Bunked on Disney Channel. This is a general audience program. This broadcast is copyrighted by NFL Productions for the private use of our audience. Any other use of this broadcast or any pictures, descriptions, or accounts of the game without the consent of NFL Productions is prohibited. Welcome back to Andy's room. Toy Story Fun Day Football getting set for the third quarter. Falcons and Jaguars. So far, all Jacksonville. 17-0. We told you, as it happens in London, it happens here. Check out the side-by-side. -side. What a cool look. In Andy's room and in London, Darius Williams picks off Desmond Ritter and takes it to the house. Booker McFarland diagram this play for us. Yeah, it's a really good job of playing man coverage, off man coverage, meaning you're a little bit off the receiver, but you got vision on the quarterback, and you step inside the receiver, and you catch it, and you take it to the house. <laughs> Williams went 61 yards to the house in Andy's house for a pick six. Uh, the very next play from scrimmage, Desmond Ritter threw another interception to Andre Sisco. Drew Carter, Booger McFarland, Pepper Persley back with you here in Andy's room. The Falcons won the coin toss at the start, deferred their choice to the second half, so they'll start with the football here in the third quarter. And Boog, let's demonstrate that interception how do you want to do this here well you're going to be the receiver and you're going to stand right here and as a defensive back i have vision i see the ball coming as the ball is coming i can step in front i can pick it off and then i am taking it to the house <laughs> at that point so that's how he did it you got to have vision on your man and also vision on the quarterback really nice job by him there so that's your high step to the house we want to see your sack dance later you down for that i'm down for it i'm not dancing by the way don't even ask First play of the third quarter is Ritter tossing to Tyler Algier. And the Falcons running back with a solid gain on first down tackle just short of the first down marker. Well, I mean, wh why wait? Let's, let's do the sack dance. Well, we've seen them pay homage to the Karate Kid by getting the one leg up. Well, we, you, you also have to get the leg up, and then you add a little wiggle to it. That's how you do the sack dance. So it's shot. leg up and wiggle, wiggle. That's right. There you go. There you go. Beautiful. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah. Leg up and wiggle, wiggle. <laughs> Man, my shoulders look good with the screws in there. Better as a toy. I got moves. It's second down and one. Bijan Robinson gets the call for the Falcons, and there goes the rookie. The young fella's got flames coming out of his feet. And B. John Robinson takes it inside the 30, a gain of 38 for the Falcons superstar. A really nice job of B. John changing direction. Started to play one way, but because of his vision, he saw there was room to the backside, put his left foot in the ground and cut it all the way back. 
and then he turned the Jets on. Just really good vision by him, finding a hole. Talk about a play that was well needed. The Falcons needed that play. And you can see inside the helmet what Bijan sees. Let's check in with Pepper. Yeah, guys, everything's looking good out of halftime, except unfortunately, it looks like Buzz is having some trouble. He got stuck in the door. So hopefully he can make it out okay. He was looking for some popcorn, some snacks in the second half, and just got stuck in there. Wow, Pepper, it looks like Buzz is worn out, but he's taking it in stride. He'll barely get the snap off, and Ritter looks to throw. He's going end zone, Drake London. He's got it. Touchdown. London scores in London and in Andy's room. And the Falcons are on the board with a 15-yard strike. Just a super job there by Desmond Ritter. What a pass. What a catch there by London. They call it a back shoulder fade. You're throwing it to the back of the pylon and to the back shoulder of the receiver. And as long as the ball crosses the end zone, it's a touchdown. Possession. A much needed touchdown there for the Atlanta Falcons. Young Way Koo out to add the extra point. And he knocks it through. Kicks it into the sun. Falcons have some juice here, bud. Yeah, they needed that. Suns out, guns out for the Falcons. 17 7 Jaguars. Do we have a game in Andy's room? The Jaguars defense has been living in the backfield. Desmond Ritter got sacked seven times last week against Detroit. And so far, Jacksonville doing more of the same. Yeah, and Josh Allen's got two sacks today. Came into the game with three. He's got five total. They've been getting after the quarterback, which forces the quarterback to throw the football faster than he doesn't want to. The defense can pick it off. He can get interceptions. This Jaguars defense has been outstanding, just swarming today. So we're here, we're going to do a demonstration, and folks, I'm a little nervous because Booker McFarlane, NFL defensive lineman, what do you want to show us here? Well, I want to show you the art of getting to the quarterback. There we go. Now Boog is in uniform. The nine deuce is ready to go. I want you to be an offensive blocker. Stick your arms out. Therefore, if I'm going to take my hands, I'm going to knock your hands down, I'm going to get by you, and I'm going to go and get the quarterback. That's the anatomy of a sack and then we're going to wiggle. I don't pick the quarterback up. Get up on your own. You got to knock the quarterback down. You do the sack dance and as a defender at that point I can have fun. That's not very nice. Can we go back to being partners now? Now we're back to being partners. <laughs> we danced together earlier in this third quarter. That was earlier. <laughs> Later in the quarter the tight end typically lined up next to the offensive lineman. Close to the football. Kyle Pitts typically out wide like a receiver. Ritter on the handoff to Robinson. So much speed for the rookie from Texas and he's got a first down and then some. 21 yards for Robinson. Pushed out of bounds by Tyson Campbell. Mr. Spell with the Falcons rallying call rise up. Really good job there by the offensive line and the tight end coming around 67 81 lead blocking any time the running back does good things usually the big guys up front the protectors of the skill position guys, the offensive line, those protectors did their job. And Bajan up the sideline. Hi everyone, it's Booker McFarlane, and I'm gonna show you the proper way to tackle safely. The most important things are as follows. Number one, always keep your head up. This gives you the best tight line on the field and allows you to prevent injuries from the head. Number two, drive through the tackle, throwing your arms around the shoulder and grab cloth so you can bring the ball carrier to the ground safely. Oh no, I am so sorry, Rex. Are you gonna be okay? Can we get Rex some help? Never mind. can we just go back to the game, please? We see Slinky Dog behind us. Drew Booger and Pepper, glad to be here in Andy's room. I'm still icing my entire body after Boog showed us how to sack the quarterback. And right now, the Falcons are putting the Jaguars on ice a little bit as the momentum has turned in this game so far. Falcons starting to make a run. Bijan getting the football. They finally got Kyle Pitts involved. Let's see if the rest of this game, they can make it close. They're actually outgaining the Jaguars right now, 197 to 195. It was all Jacksonville in the first half, 17-0. Ritter on the screen pass. Tyler Algier gets dumped. 
It was Foyer Aluakin, the former Atlanta Falcon, makes the play for a loss of four. And that's an unbelievable play by Aluakon. They're setting up the screen. He does a really good job of eluding those offensive linemen, not one, but two of them, and making a tackle for loss. We see something that might be affecting the game here, Pepper. What is that? Yeah, guys. I mean, just take a look at the window behind me. There's quite a glare coming through that window. Obviously, we aren't outside, but there's still an effect that the weather has. And so hopefully, you know, at halftime, all the players were able to make any adjustments they needed to that because it's got quite a glare. At the end of the third quarter, the Jaguars lead the Falcons 17-7. Right back to the show on Disney Channel. Action. Come on down to Table Town, where Kiff and Barry... Are we doing it right now? ...get up to all kinds of... Things. Kiff's nuttier than ever. I've just got some things to do. Brilliant. And Barry... Where's Barry? Well, he's still Barry. I'm an ambassador. When these two are involved... Are you thinking what I'm thinking? I think I am. What could go wrong? Kiff, new Saturday at 9 on Disney Channel. Uh, Someday, this shop will be yours. Someday, this shop will all be mine. Disney and Pixar's Elemental is now available on Disney+. Plus. Uh, I'm okay. People are saying it's one of Pixar's best films. Wow. And they're calling it the next Pixar masterpiece. My daughter, she burned bright. But sometimes too bright, eh? Disney and Pixar's Elemental. Rated PG. Now available on Disney+. Plus. Every day is a party when you've got good friends around. Go ahead, make a splash, and enjoy the new adventures you can have together. Barbie Dreamhouse is a proud sponsor of Disney Channel. Dolls, vehicle, and play sets sold separately. Adults assemble. Batteries not included. Fridays. Party. Yes! Sin parar. It's a big party. In a non-stop special way. Come on up. With Coco. Haley's on it. I'm doing it. Cancer and Gretel. All right, that's enough. You're kidding. The Proud Family, louder and prouder. Phenomenal. The Emperor's new groove. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. Marvel's Moon Girl and Devil Dinosaur. In the house. Unas Noches Magicas. Wow, that sounds majestic. It's all coming together. Que padre. This is going to be epic. Party Sin Parar continues Friday at 8 on Disney Channel. Party Sin Parar includes general audience programming. You have the power to make magic happen right at your fingertips. Just get creative and add a bit of imagination to see what enchanting adventures you can experience. Magic Mixies Pixlings is a proud sponsor of Disney Channel, each sold separately. Hey, Miko, let's play. When you use your imagination, learning new things can open up a world of fun. What's your favorite animal? There's so much to discover. Miko is a proud sponsor of Disney Channel. Miko Chess and Miko Robots sold separately. Once in a while, a hero comes along. Someone so smart. Yes! I made it! So determined. First place, suckers! So awkward? Scale of one to ten, how cool is this party, people? Cringe. Ouch. Who is she? Haley. 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 I'm Haley Bex. Saving the world one list item at a time. Oh, I got a list too. A list of complaints. This is a general audience program. Fourth quarter coming here in Andy's room. Toy Story Fun Day Football. Forky, Woody, all your favorite characters from Toy Story enjoying the game as it's 17 to 7. Jaguars over the Falcons, but this game is, feels a lot tighter than that score as we go to the fourth quarter. Drew Carter, Booker McFarland, Pepper Persley back with you here in Andy's room. Thrilled to have you along with us for really a historic show. This has been so much fun. Pepper, what have you enjoyed most about this show so far? Yeah, I think just the opportunity for all kids to be able to learn about the sport of football. Um, I think this is a great opportunity. The Toy Story characters are so much fun. It's been so much fun having you all join us so far, and I'm so ready for this fourth quarter.
And we've heard from a lot of people who are watching maybe their first football game of all time. Bug, I'm sure you started playing when you were a young kid in Louisiana. How special is this? It's a special moment having having grown up, have kids now myself who love watching Toy Story. I'm sure Jacob and Alexis are, are just dying right now as they see dad animated in real life. That's right. First down of 10, Trevor Lawrence throws to the tight end. Evan Ingram, he's got it, and he's got a big play. 19 yards for Ingram, pushed out of bounds by Jesse Bates. The tight end's having a great afternoon. As the offense is starting to move, we've seen Trevor Lawrence get more and more people involved. Early on, it was Ridley. Then it was Etienne. And now, Evan Ingram. A tight end only by name plays more like a wide receiver doing an outstanding job here in the second half. When we talk about a stiff arm, usually defenders are trying to tackle the guy with the ball. All right. I'm the guy with the football. You're going to try to tackle me. Do I have to? Well, you can try. And for me, I'm not going to allow you to do it. I'm going to stiff arm. I'm going to make sure that my hand is on your face and you're going to go to the ground and I'm going to continue running. That's the art of a stiff arm. Very similar to that. <laughs> All right. That's the last one we're demonstrating. I can do this all night. <laughs> Booger McFarland, ladies and gentlemen. It's right, second down after the big loss on first. Robinson back in the game. Ritter throws. It's deflected at the line of scrimmage for an incomplete pass. Chad Muma got in there to put a hand on the football to bring up third and long. Couple of plays in a row made there by Chad Muma. Runs by the running back, gets his hands up. That was going to be a pass to Bijan Robinson. But a nice job there by Muma getting his hands up, making sure the ball could not get to the running back. Desmond Ritter on third down today is eight for eight for 73 yards and a touchdown. They need a big play on third down and 15. Jaguars showing pressure. They only bring four rushers. Ritter throws. That's complete. It's Janu Smith, the tight end again for a gain of 12. Fourth down and two. You got to think they'll go for this. Yeah, I got to go for it. Under seven minutes, down two scores. You need three. Biggest player of the game right here. Everybody should be on the edge of their seats. Biggest play of the game. Biggest play in the history of Andy's room right here. The claw spots the ball. Giving them fourth down and three. Bijan Robinson is the running back. You got to think he's going to touch the ball on the biggest play of the game. Ritter rolling to his right. Throws end zone. London had it, but he did not get his feet inbounds. You need to have two feet inbounds for the catch to count. In coverage, Trey Herndon and Trayvon Walker. It's a really good job, though, by Trey Herndon. Understanding that if the, if the receiver catches the football inbounds, he's going to try to get two feet down. He didn't. He pushed him out of the back of the end zone. And what a stand there by the Jacksonville Jaguars. This is Bo Peep right here. Um, has a lot of great qualities, not afraid to take risks. Uh, really reminds me of one of my teammates, Zay Jones. So shout out Zay. You remind me of Bo Peep. Our head coach, Arthur Smith. Emperor Zerg. Smart, intelligent, a little diabolical though. You know, the person on our football team that reminds me of, of Ham is D. Ham, Devon Hamilton. Um, not that he resembles this in any way. Doug Peterson with a smart choice to be diplomatic there at the end. I don't know if Caden Ellis wants to say that his head coach is diabolical, though. I've heard his playing time. That's probably, that's probably not something he wants to say. We're back here in Andy's room. Drew, Booger, Pepper, thrilled to be here with you. Slinky Dog is the first and ten marker. Just one of the highlights of Toy Story Fun Day football. Six minutes to play. Jaguars back to work on offense after the turnover on downs. And Travis Etienne picks up a short gain on first down. Emperor Zerg on the loose again. Let's just hope Zerg doesn't get anyone. They've evaded him for three and a half quarters. Maybe another half quarter they can work around. And of course, Emperor Zerg, the sworn enemy of the Galactic Alliance, who one time told Buzz Lightyear, I am your father. <laughs> Thank you.
I feel like Emperor Zerg would be a pretty good football player as well. He knows how to keep the eyes on the target, I can tell you that. that is true. And second down, Lawrence complete. Seven Ingram lost the football at the end, but he was down. Nine yard gain and a first down for the Jags tight end. Uh -oh. Looks like Zerg might be gaining on that. He's always chasing Woody for some reason. Zerg will go back to his fortress at some point. The secret entrance. Rex knows where it is. We're under five minutes left in this game. Jaguars by 13. Got to think they'll run the football here, keep the clock moving, because it stops on an incomplete pass, but keeps going on a run like this to Travis Etienne. Gains just one Grady Jarrett in there on the stop. To all the kids out there, you can be anything you want to be. You can chase any dream you want, and you can accomplish it 100%. No time to explain. Attack. You can even become Buzz Lightyear, apparently, and uh, come join him on a Toy Story. <laughs> in a Toy Story world in Andy's room and play football. That's what you want to do. <laughs> uh, adorable Caden Ellis, one of the Falcons' best defensive players, sharing some words of wisdom. His team right now trailing by 13 with two minutes to play here in Andy's room on Toy Story Fun Day Football. Drew, Booger, and Pepper back with you here for a historic show. It's been a lot of fun to watch as the Jags are set to snap a two-game losing streak. They face fourth down and three here from the 20. So it'll be a 38-yard attempt for Brandon McManus. Mr. Spell wanting the Falcons to block that kick, which did happen to Jacksonville last week against Houston in a 37-17 loss. Yeah, the big lineman up front. They got to penetrate through those gaps and get their hands up as the ball comes in. McManus has been perfect today, though, and that continues. Now three for three on field goals as he barrels right through the goalpost blocks and makes it 23 to 7. Ritter gets sacked, and the ball's out. Picked up by the Jags, and that'll do it. And what a fitting in to the day. Once, twice, how about three times? Josh Allen with his third sack of the day. He didn't tackle the quarterback to the ground, but what he did, he knocked the ball out. That's a sack. Calls fumble. Ball comes out. They call it the trifecta there, Drew. The turkey for Josh Allen. There you go. His third sack today. Angelo Blackson recovers the fumble. And now the Jaguars can line up in victory formation and just take some knees to wind the clock out. Lawrence, the sheriff of the Jags offense, efficient today, 23 of 30, 207 and a touchdown. He was sacked a couple times. His favorite target was Christian Kirk. He catches for 84 yards, takes the final knee, and that'll do it. Congratulations to the Jacksonville Jaguars. Go oh, Woody. Winners. Go oh, Woody. Of the first ever Toy Story oh, Fun Day football. Go oh, Woody. <laughs> Showing off the moves. What an impressive performance from the Jags today. They must have made a lot of fans. It was one they needed. And I, and I think both teams made fans. Playing this game in Andy's room. But Jacksonville, you talk about those expectations they had coming into the season. Not very good so far this season, but to come over the cross the pond and get a win today, huge win. Doug Peterson is going to be proud of his football team. And he'll enjoy watching this tape from the game. Not the unidirectional bonding strip, as Bud Light, Buzz Lightyear calls it. It's the actual tape is in the game film. Here are some highlights. And Trevor Lawrence, this 30-yard pass to Calvin Ridley was an absolute dime. Talk about a tone setter. Early on, we wanted to make sure that Ridley got the football. And then for Josh Allen, came into the game with three sacks. That was the first one. And then the pick six. Look at the carpet burns as he goes down the field. Big play after big play after big play for the Jaguars. I'm super proud of our team for winning today. Seeing Woody and Bo Peep help our team win. Uh, all I know is I can't wait to celebrate. We just got our pizza planet order in. And hopefully it's going to get here soon, but can't congratulate our team enough for winning the game. Well, Bug. That'll wrap it up. Toy Story Fun Day Football. You have a good time? It's been an exciting day, a fun day. It's been a long day, and it's time for <laughs> Boog to get something to eat now because that pizza has worn off since <laughs> halftime. Let's go get some food, partner. It was a lot of fun. Enjoyed it.
Maybe we don't have to do any more demonstrations of stiff arms or blocking or any of that. No, that, that was not. the best part of the day. <laughs> That's your opinion, my friend. Thanks so much to everyone who joined us today. And thanks for watching for our entire crew. So many outstanding folks behind the scenes. Brian Boyle produced, Jeff Nelson directed. Incredible work by everyone here for Pepper, Booger, and everyone at Disney Channel and ESPN. I'm Drew Carter saying so long from Andy's room. Thanks for watching. Thanks you for watching this presentation of the National Football League. This show was a